the drip in the sauce I'm tryna whip me a boss, fuck with the boys I call the shots when it's off, and in the winning I can't take a loss I put in work like a chore, tryna ball out in the most Money walks on the floor, couple bands I want more We the West, we the wave, that was changed with slaves Alright, drip! That was Young Apex featuring Boy Brown. Um, again, it's known for Drip. Make sure y'all check them out. Yep, the link is gonna be in the description down below. So make sure you guys go check out the full video. It's super, super dope. Keep doing your thing. What's up, Migas gang? We are It's Amigas. And today, guys, we're gonna be doing a reaction to the baby. And it's called Blind. And it's featuring Young Thug. I read that all crazy. My mind's somewhere else. But here we go, guys. <laughs> Yeah, no look. Oh snap. <laughs> Is it me or I'm getting blinded by the second? Okay. Is it recording? Grandpa. Hey, my boy. What's up? I wonder what's if that's cute. That? I know. Trying to look at the nose to see. What you doing today? I was just going to go to the park and go kick the ground there at the park. Nah, 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 look, fuck all that. I got something special planned for you. I got something special planned for you. We're gonna be, we're gonna go. There's gonna be some freaks out there and everything for you. I'm gonna get you right there. Mm. Gonna have some fun. <laughs> no, for real, bro. When I went to Texas, oh, they took that yeah. camera. Yeah. I was like, yo, what is this? Oh, man, so that nigga shot my teeth went to it, so. Alright, I like this already. <laughs> I just got the key, they let me in. Open it up for me, and now I see. I've been blind for a while now. I've been blind. Oh wait. Yeah, but the technology can do that. Damn, that thing is huge. Old ass nigga. Oh no, it's not him. Put the video up. I be quarantined even with my kids trying to teach me how to cha-cha. I love young stuff. His class is not futuristic. Yeah, I'm on probation, so they sit back and got them. Don't got right with pistols. They found the baby. This chihuahua. This is so freaking funny. It is him. That looks like him. It is him. Once he put his hat, the hat. Yeah, it is him. Let's go! I love the baby. I'm obsessed with the baby. I'm obsessed with all the babies. I definitely feel like the baby got a bunch of hits. All his songs are the baby and little baby, both babies. Both little baby, the baby. Is it all the babies? Or is it? Lil, is it Lil Baby? This one's the Baby. The Lil, Lil, Lil Baby, baby. is the one from Atlanta. The one that did the song with Shorty. Who did I used to get confused with? I always used to confuse Lil Baby with somebody else. Uh, Lil, the Baby? No. This is this one's the Baby. No, I know this one's the Baby, but there was one person that I used to... Oh, Lil. There was someone. I feel like I used, they say, like... I used to say Lil for, but there was no Lil. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who is that? Who is it? <laughs> Yo! Damn, who is it? Because I remember that happening. Damn, I forgot. It's gonna come randomly. Lil. You're gonna, it's gonna come randomly. I'm trying to look down. Lil Gunna. Yeah! <laughs> it was, it was Gunna. <laughs> I used to go along with it. I used to say Lil Gunna. What does. You know what? I'm in mind because I'm Yo, about to that's hilarious. Stuff. No, and I used to go along with it, Lil Gunna. Yo, cause I didn't know. Unless I so, seen it. Y'all names is so unique. I feel like everybody was at like at that time. Everybody just dropped a bunch of and bangers around the same, same time, way. and then they have kind of the same style of music. Mm -hmm. And then and then it's like Lil Baby, and then Dub Baby, and then Lil This, and then that is just it was just really confusing. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, but we like them all. Literally, like, don't come on my neck for saying that they sound the same. Not like that. You know what I mean? Like like same, same style. Same style. Like, no, they don't sound the same. It was just like, I was trying. I didn't know. I love them though. I love. I, I feel like any songs with, um, with the baby. Oh, yeah. It's funny because a little, a little six-year-old. Oh, 
little six year old put a song to a song, to a song well, by uh, the baby. Yeah, and that shit was banging. Banging. Oh, she goes, put, um, what What's was the it? song called? She goes, we was in the car, and she goes, put this song. And we're like, you got it? We're like, we ain't playing no baby song. Oh, Gorilla Blue. Yeah, she, she said, said put, put Gorilla, Gorilla Blue. Blue. And we're, and we're like, like, no. This is Gorilla some Gorilla YouTube Blue. song or something, some little YouTube kitty song. And then we're like, you know what, fine. And then the song was banging. But but before that, we played something else that was called Gorilla Blue. So we kind of expected it. We're like, ah. Uh, yeah. We're like, this song's wack. And then we that, like knew. And then she was like, this is not it. And, and then, mind you, the song is blasting. All we hear is a little voice saying, this is not the song. Like, and we was being petty to her because she was being mammy to us. So yeah, we she's, was like, soup. she's like a rude little girl. So we were souped that the song wasn't good. The first one she played. So we was like. <laughs> <laughs> we were getting at a little six-year-old's level. <laughs> But like this song's bad. This song's trash. And then we put the real version, and she was like, "Oh, this is it." And we were quiet. It was we're like, like, "Damn, damn girl." We was like, "Damn, this song's fire." This song I'm is banging. That she found that song still to tell. I'm gonna just blame it on TikTok. That wasn't her. She's mad rude, but whatever. She Shout called out Leo to ugly. Her. Shout out to her, she's mammy. <laughs> she that told Leo. Yeah, it was like like that. At the beach. Cause cause she was being I was being rude to her and she goes, Yeah. And I was like, ooh, and then I knocked over her sandcastle and I said <laughs> Petty to the kids. I don't care. I don't care if she, I was pretending to do it with her and then I just knocked it. Yeah, because she was being mad. I was so petty and like <laughs> she really gets to me. Damn, you still have that bag? Which oh, one? Snap. That, that latex I've one. never used it. Never? Never. I've never used it. I, just I don't even know where mine is. I found it in a suitcase and um, I was like, Damn. Oh, shit. I definitely use mine OD. You see how we distracted Yo, you? This, is, this is what happened to me in school. I used to look at a tie, a pair of shoes, and I used to get so distracted. But yeah, guys, we do want to send our condolences to the baby. We know that his brother recently passed. Um very tragic very sad make sure you guys are always checking up on your loved ones because you just never know what they can be going through and don't judge people even though mm -hmm. we all do it it's kind of hard not to just you know we're all humans and we all do stupid shit but make sure instead of you judging so much you're checking on people making sure everybody's um doing mm -hmm. good and, yeah because you just never know yeah that's it that's all i gotta Ray. say um, Obviously, we can go deeper into that topic because it's, it's <clears> probably, you know, something that probably even no one knew. Sometimes people just be surprising you with certain things, mm -hmm. but some people are just really silent. All I want is, like, don't ever, like, blame yourself for, you know, something like that happening. Just right. to say it, mm -hmm. FYI. If you're someone who has, like, been through this, like, don't blame yourself if you feel like it's your fault. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you completely they some people are completely normal and they don't show their emotions in front of anyone and they do it behind closed doors so. yeah some people love to suffer in silence mm -hmm. like i i do that sometimes like i don't like i don't like one a lot of people don't like when people feel bad for them mm -hmm. i hate that pity stuff so and you don't want to be a burden to nobody mm -hmm. like everybody got their own problems so you don't want to be that burden but um, if you do feel like you need to talk to somebody and sometimes it's better to talk to strangers and you could hit us up I don't have no problem talking to people Or just hit up or just see a psychiatrist, whatever uh, Somebody to talk to a counselor anything like sometimes it is easier to speak to a stranger about your problems than your family So make sure you reach yeah. out to somebody if you are feeling down or a certain way and guys money is not the key to everything because it be the richest people that are the loneliest. They have everything in life, mm -hmm. and they're the loneliest. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter if you're rich. It doesn't matter if you're poor. If you're going through something, make sure you reach out and you seek help before something you know yeah. crazy happens. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you guys next.